All right. And last but not least, we did this at the 150th and the 100th episode. See you podcast memories, hashtag. Memories. And click on latest, and you can go top down there or bottom up, whatever. You want to go bottom up? Go I'm, uh, bottoms up. I'm, I'm pulling let's, up Twitter now. Let's go down to, uh, let's see, see you podcast memories. And then I'm also going to bring up the Facebook there. So I'm going to go down to February. I'll start down at February 20. Let's see. What's the first one from this year? February 24, uh, 24th. Okay. See you podcast memories, Ian. Well, this is from uh, Goomba Gamer 103. What about option three? What about a jumbo? The jack? jumbo jack. That's a recent <laughs> memory. Yes. That's a, that's, that's a big one. Barbecue Dan, the man wanted Ian Stalker friend part three. There is none. Everyone loves to talk about the ranch dressing incident. Uh, you know, take it, live it, love it. Uh, you hold live on. It. Don't, I, well, I mean, don't live it. Um, my man, all the old, uh, game stores and tales from the game store. People like those. Um, the discovery of a happy conclusion to the NES SimCity saga. Uh, oh, that was good. That was what, a year and a half ago? Yeah. I, or two and a half years ago. I do like uh, a lot of the topics we've done uh, with video game preservation. I like that that's become something we've decided to focus on. Um, you, skipped Sims, a, you skipped a lot, by the way. SimCity in particular was a... Um, the feel-good story. Yeah, that was a really good one. That, I, that one was fantastic. And I somehow feel that was a mini turning point and more of the stuff getting preserved. I feel like the more people knew about that was almost lost. I think that kicked some people in the butt behind the scenes. I, I, I that's just my feeling. Sure. It, it, I, there's less and less of these get rich by creating uh, um, repro carts of prototypes. I think it's happening less than what it happened four or five years ago. Sure, I think so too. I think we're, I think we're coming around and there's more. But now people know about it, and now that people know about it, opinion has you know started to gel and solidify. And you know, at w once there was, you know, when people didn't know so much about it, you, you, you know, there was no public opinion to sway these people who were charging money for this stuff. Sure. You know, um, without, while holding on to it. Uh, I'm going to go back to the ones it looks like you can skip. Um, I think you should do a little spot on the start of the podcast, how it came to be. We didn't do a spot at it, but basically, you know, basically Ian and I's conversations at Luna Video Games, two locations, um, turned into the podcast. Yeah, I basically yeah. told Pat his um, three hour long uh, hangouts were boring and we decided to talk on well, camera. What were three hour long? I mean, I mean the, the random ones I would do? Yes. But there was, a, there was a gap in between that and the podcast, though. Sure. And that yeah. was kind of like... You know, I think we were talking. You were talking about doing those, and but you never suggested doing being a part of it though. Until I said, "Let's do it." Yeah, I said you should go back, and I said you should do a podcast, and okay. then you suggested me. Oh, and that's aren't we happier, better for it? Um, Patch. This is from at M Fest Fest Express. Patch Charlotte Airport bathroom attendant story. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you 81 year old out there. I'm still, I'm still, I know where you are. I know where you, <laughs> I know where you work. Pat, Pat, uh, a, a, a janitor at the airport. Uh, the story was, if you did not hear it, uh, made fun of Pat's sneeze. When it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was exhausted from like not sleeping for like 34 hours, or whatever it was, with cancellations, flights, and everything. Yeah, I wanted to murder him. Um, this is from at Fat Rat 82. Not 82. Uh, favorite see podcast memories includes your Atari VCS coverage, the collection of story <laughs> and breaking down what's wrong with the weird world of sealed, sealed game collecting. Uh, this is from at down with OPC. Ian in general, not knowing the Patreon URL in general, you didn't do it on this podcast. Didn't know it today. Um, this is from at sub zero. Uh, my see podcast memories is actually the fact that you and Ian, the NES punk vids and the podcast got me into collecting all these old relics of my childhood, kicked me right in the field. Here's the 200 more gents with a little champagne glass clinking. I'm sorry. I always say this to people. Sorry that I'm responsible for you spending uh, money on 30-year-old dusty uh, old media. Yeah. I apologize to that uh, for that. This is from that uh, Phil Tyler 80. See you podcast memories with... With episode with numbers. With episode numbers marked. I got to reach out to you. It says like you have us catalog better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 168, Gamer Girl Bathwater. Number 173, The Collectionist. That was live from Long Island Richard Gaming Expo. Number 155, Vin Diesel Bro. That was a Tales from the Game Store? The Collectionist Star. was a... Yeah, that was a Tales from the Game Store. The Collectionist was a live one? Yes. 
absolutely was. Um, number 113, Ian sees some genitalia. Wow. That was, that was during my move because we recorded that, I think, at your place. Yep. Uh, number 193, the Jumbo Jack Kid. It seems like it was so much longer ago. Number 166, the plumber's unholy musk in Pat's bathroom. That was bad. Please don't remind me. I can now smell it again. Um, number 123, Venom Symbiote Quake slash Quaker Oats uh, Man Rant. The Oats. That was an interesting rant. Fuck that guy. That, that was right after we moved in here. Hate and him. number one, number 151, the, the CU Unsolved Mysteries. Yes, indeed. Was that with the intro and everything? Yeah, that I was believe great. so. Uh, this is from Matt Jester of Rona. Will you eventually, if time permits, want some <laughs> rye? Or at least do a bit of a throwback shout out to Danny Sullivan's in the heat. You know what, Danny? We haven't given Danny the attention. We don't we talk have. to Danny about Danny anymore. Yeah. See, the Danny Sullivan, uh, it wasn't, we didn't really try to force it. It was the Danny Sullivan thing was uh, at Pat's old condo where we were set up. Uh, the eye line for Pat to look at his NES games and see a title. Uh, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat was just the one that he would catch when he glanced. So that's why it came up. And it made it easy. Uh, now that Pat is far away from his yeah, NES games and can't see anything. Uh, and also we're not talking about NES stuff as much maybe as we used to. Um, but it's right. It's, a, it's, a, it's the second row, third or fourth down. That's where it is though. So yes. That's, that's where the D's are. So you're right. It would have been like right next to me. Mm -hmm. And that's how Danny Sullivan started. The legend of Danny started. And we had a t-shirt at one point that, that some people bought. Which I, still, I don't own any of the old t-shirts. I don't own any of our t-shirts. We've had like six now. We don't own a single one. Including the limited t-shirt. Just it's out there. So uh, what's next here? How about an update on the... <laughs> oh, this is an unfortunate acronym. How about an update on the Come Any console? The CU Mini console. The Come Any? The Come <laughs> console. Okay. How about an update on the Come console? I, I feel like that's some product that, that we should have. Even. That is I, some product that we I should have. I feel like we should do that. If we could somehow do it in a legal way, that would be good without having pirated ROMs. That could be something funny. I feel like that's something that we can do. Maybe we can talk to our good friends at Retrobit. At, at SoCal uh, Gaming Expo, say, hey, let's do a CU podcast branded console. It would probably sell. I, you know, it probably would. That you know what? That, you know how they did the retro bit generations? They, they, yeah. they, they, we'll do one of those. Except it'll be the CU podcast. <laughs> what, we'll what will be on it? Uh, Mappy Land. Yeah, we'll just get all our Danny Sullivan, Danny Sullivan Clue uh, Clue Land, Clue Clue Land. All the games with land. All the games with land. All Mappy the, Land. All the Clue, Mappy Clue, Clue games. Land. Rolling Thunder, we'll put on that. Has been anybody who's have arcade Rolling Thunder on them. Um, I want fat. Uh, want fat. I want Pat to finally fire up the joint he keeps talking about. I never talk about having a joint. I have the I have the Jelly THC ring. I should have did that before the console. Uh, brief review of Solar Jetman for the NES. This is, I'm going off of Facebook right now. <laughs> that, that's why. That's why the quality's gone down. Uh, someone's new here. Uh, first, <laughs> first time listener. First time caller. Um. Okay. Uh. What's next? Using the phrase "wet pizza dough face." Really, I forgot what topic that was. Really, the Pokemon Plantum story as a whole. Your dealings with the with the USPS and airport bathroom attendants. Let me tell you something. I I, I know where the I know where that attendant works. I don't know where he lives. Uh, the post office in Point Loma and Ocean Beach can lick my taint. They are the worst. Worst individuals. Maybe there's a couple of good ones, but the vast majority are horrible. I'm so glad with stamps.com slash CU podcast, I don't have to visit the post office anymore. I don't have to. I just drop them off at the uh, UPS store. It's fine. My favorite um, podcast moment from the past uh, 100 episodes is uh, right now learning, uh, reading this headline. Uh, Hot Pockets heiress will face sentencing in U.S. college admissions scandal. What? The Hot Pockets heiress will oh, face God. sentencing in U.S. college admissions oh, scandal. Oh, that's a training topic. I wish I could be a Hot, hot Pockets heiress. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, this is from uh, uh, Dan Greenberg. Winter Iron. Hey, Dan. The discovery and happy inclusion. Oh, you said that one. Yeah. NES yep. yep. SimCity Saga. Um, loved your covers of the Cleo Chameleon drama. There was a moment where I was generally excited for that console, but then it all fell apart. That was first hundred. Yeah, it's fine. I now view every attempt at a retro caching console with extreme skepticism. I'm glad you have skepticism because you should. Yes. For whatever 40-year-old uh, video game IP that no one cares about new console, have skepticism. Wait for it to come out before you buy it. Yes. Before you put money down, at least. Um... 
The strange family that told that, that Ian told us about that came into his job, have they come back? No. They have not come back. Um, all the uh, game store tales, everyone loves them, of course. My man, of course. Uh, the amazing tales of the game store about this, the sword guy and past comment along the lines of, this isn't an RPG weapon shop. I probably did say No that. one has sold, tried to sell me a sword or any other weapon uh, in, in the past year, couple of years. Bring up your worst Christmas gift again, also Little Bitch. LOL. Little Bitch was early. That was like that was very first early. year. Yep. Wow. Uh, Ian dominating the Patreon worldwide web address each and every week. Well, maybe not this week. Happy to give you guys money in exchange for services. I dropped the title to Patreon again this week, <laughs> unfortunately. And the last one, hands down favorite podcast, we went two words, ranch dressing. Of course. And I will close it by also saying that Dick Pound is also trending currently because that is the name of someone that is uh, the name of an uh, IOC member. Uh, His name is Dick Pound. Dick Pound. Okay. Get down with Dick Pound. Dick down. IOC member Dick Pound says Tokyo Olympic organizers have until late May to see if the virus is under control. If not, you're probably looking at a cancellation. You're going to cancel the Olympics? It's fine. No one cares. No, what, do you, what do you mean no one cares? Two days ago was the... Uh, three days ago was the fourth anniversary of the Miracle on Ice. No oh, yeah, that's right. The Miracle on Ice was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Literally. The biggest sports event of the 20th century for us. Pretty cool. Um, they, they, they could move it. They wouldn't cancel the Olympics. That, that's, that seems to me to get your shit together just in case because we're all coming here. Um, cancel, can't cancel the Olympics. That'd be nuts. Move it somewhere else. Try to get in LA in 2020. Are there any other CU podcast memories of the past 100? No. No, not that I'm aware of. It went so fast. Well, we did 52 in the past year. Yeah. So the 150th was like January of last year. Um, and then the 100th before that was two. So the 100th was three years ago. That's so speedy. 2017. Huh? So speedy. Well, we'd be at, if, if these were every week, Ian, we'd be at, let's see, Pat Math. Uh, six and a half years. Let's see. Three hundred something. Uh, let's see. Six and a half years. So we'll just say six point five times fifty two. We'll be at three thirty eight roughly. Jeez right now. Louises. That's wild. It's too many. We're gonna get to three thirty eight. What is that? That'd be uh, two and a half years from now. I think we can get to two fifty two. 252, one yeah. more year? Yeah. We'll, we'll promise one more year? We'll see where well, we're the, at. Well, so if we sell the enamel pins, it's, it's going to go in, uh, it's going to go on forever until the enamel pins are gone. The length of time that we will continue to do this is solely based upon how many enamel yes. pins we have. Which is good, because then if you hate us, buy them all out, and then we're done forever. Right. right. Your hair. Give us money. But uh, then don't give us leave. money. and we'll Give us money to leave. Give us money to leave. Pay, pay, pay us to leave. That should be a Patreon goal. Pay, pay us, us money to leave. Pay us money and we'll not, we'll not do the podcast ever again. Put your money where your mouth is. There you go. There it is. You don't like us? You know? You don't, you don't like Ian's uh, curmudgeoniness? You don't like Pat's? I stuff? don't like it sometimes. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> anyway. anyway, well, that's it. 200th CU Podcast. 